Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another conversation. And the person who was joining me tonight is certainly no stranger to the TYT family. He is a contributor to TYT. He is the bureau, the DC bureau chief of the Intercept, and an award-winning journalist, none other than Ryan Graham. Ryan, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, you know, it's pretty. They they hand out of a lot of awards <laughs> in journalism, so they don't hand out much money. That's it's actually a very <laughs> is that social the problem. <laughs> it's the uh, it's kind of a socialist model. Like in a lot of socialist countries, they would reward a lot of workers and a lot of managers in companies. Well, not companies because it's a socialist country, but with with awards in instead of like instead lavishing, of money. lavishing them with money, which is good actually. You know, because yeah. that's whatever you know, money doesn't make you happy. No. Um, job satisfaction, satisfaction in your life does. So, but yes, so the journalism industry, any industry that has you know, the the less amount of money in it, the more awards they're gonna have. Okay, that's yeah. the okay. I got it. I'm <laughs> following the formula now. Yeah. I got it. Well, we have uh, nothing short. Speaking of money, what a great segue into what we are going to be discussing most during our conversation. I don't know where to start. I mean, we could start with uh, the the reconciliation bill and the infrastructure bill, or we could start with the billionaire. Wealth tax. I don't know where. You, where would you like to go first? Well, it's be, it's becoming both of them, and so I was just uh, joking with with Jenk, who, so, you know, brother Jenk now is against. You know, he's telling people vote vote this reconciliation garbage down. I was joking with him that if if cinema somehow manages to get a billionaire tax into this reconciliation package, I'm packing up. I'm moving to Arizona. And I'm campaigning door to door for for Kirsten Cinema because <laughs> this this the the craziest situation is developing like right now on Capitol Hill. I just left there just finished a, there was a call with Ron Wyden that just wrapped up, and around six o'clock, the, the Elizabeth Warren, Ron Wyden, and Angus King, its main senator, finished a kind of uh, what they call a pen and pad, a little briefing in the Senate press gallery. And they are coming together, 50 senators behind these two billionaire taxes. And the entire reason that they've moved to these is because Kirsten Sinema was so intransigent about raising the corporate tax rate or raising the personal income tax rate on super rich people. God forbid. And God for God forbid we do that. And so instead, they've come up with these billionaire taxes. And so apparently behind the scenes, because God, you know, God forbid, Kirsten Cinema talked to the public, or even talked to other senators. But apparently, what she told the White House is that, look, why are you raising rates when so many billionaires pay zero, pay zero percent? So, in other words, if you raise the rate, but you're paying zero, you know, a higher rate of zero is still zero. Right. So you're so you're still going to have this system where you have in. The rich, the very richest of the rich, just of managing to avoid paying taxes. And to me, I I would do I'd say, okay, fine. You know that that meme on Twitter. Why not both? Raise the rates on the super rich who do pay taxes, and then go after the billionaires who don't pay taxes. But if you only have to do one or the other, transforming the tax code so that you find a way to actually tax these billionaires is is huge. Because people have to remember, like 100 years ago when they brought the income tax in, it only hit a couple hundred families at the very beginning. And gradually, they figured out ways. They're like, oh, if we tax people, we can actually like do things collectively for the public good. And so they, they you know, brought in a progressive in- income tax. But people, a lot of people might not, re- people, everybody knows that billionaires don't pay taxes. But they might not realize that the way that they have structured the system is in, in such a way that they they never will ever. It's and their strategy is called buy, borrow, and die. Like and that that's an actual that's an actual strategy. Like and that's what all of the billionaires do. So you you get a hold of your your assets. Your usually stocks. Some forty percent of it is stocks. So it's easy to value. And then instead of selling your stocks 
in order to like buy your mansion or buy your yacht or whatever you're buying, you march down to the bank with, you know, pretend you brought your stock certificates. You don't have to, you can just show them your balance sheet. Go down with your stock certificates, you hand the stock certificates to the bank. This is a bank, by the way, who's probably gonna do one of your IPOs and is otherwise doing business with you. So they're good friends with you. They're wanting, they want to, they want to treat you nicely. You hand them the stock. You say, here's here's half a billion dollars worth of stock. I'd like half a billion dollars worth of cash, please. So that's cashing a check. That's basically yeah. what they're doing is cashing a check. But the bank says, okay, well, this is a loan. Since you're our valued customer, the loan rate is you know one half percent, whatever it is, because you're going to do your VIP. You're going to do good business with us. So now they've cashed these stocks in. They've collected their half a billion dollars, and when that loan is due, they just roll it over. And roll it over, and they and they roll it over until the day they die, and at the day they die, because of this thing called stepped up basis, the next generation inherits all of their wealth, and all of the capital gains appreciation gets wiped off. So now you're back to zero, back to and so zero. and so now these kids have all these stock certificates. They go to the bank, they take more money out, and so what this proposal is saying is that no, like that's income stop stop this little game that you're doing where you're the company gives you stock instead of a paycheck and you say oh it's just stock it's not a paycheck so therefore i don't owe you any income tax no 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 you got a half billion dollars from the bank that you're living on that's income pay us and and, tax it. and it's going to and depending on where they set the numbers like the current one will raise like 400 billion uh, from these it's like 700 people, like literally it will hit 700 people. Like they know who they are, like they know their addresses. There are many, you know, many more addresses than 700 because they all have many houses. But they know who these people are. Uh, that's how small a number of people it is. And well, we can talk about, we can talk about the corporate one too, which is also interesting, but yeah, yeah no, what do you think? Like, well, let's definitely do that. I mean, <laughs> woo, Senator Cinema. well, 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 well. well, well. Not all heroes to, wear capes. I might have to take back some of that stuff. There's we'll some see, of I'm, it. I mean, not it, all. it would basically be accidental. Uh, yeah. You know, because she would have you know resisted tax increases for so long, but then not had the will to take the entire thing down. So then, kind of creatively looking for some way out, and mm-hmm. it's like, well, what about this? And it turned oh, out that oh. Warren, Warren and Wyatt and others had been writing this bill for a couple of years, and they're like, oh. There you go. There you go. Here it is. We got this. So <laughs> I'm with you. I'll have to do a little of both. But I want to show uh, for people who are watching with us right now a a uh, moveon.org did a little video. So I want to uh, put that up if the crew could show that. A lot of chatter about the billionaire wealth tax going on right now. Right now, Jeff Bezos' salary at Amazon is only $82,000. He pays about the same income tax on that salary as your average registered nurse. But unlike the average nurse, he got $75 billion richer during the pandemic thanks to his Amazon stock. And based on his previous tax records as uncovered by ProPublica, he probably paid about a 1% tax rate on that $75 billion. That's why Senate Finance Chairman Ron Wyden introduced a plan called the Billionaire's Income Tax. President Biden is already on board. Under the billionaire's income tax, he would pay his fair share, no more, no less, on the billions the wealth from his stock and other assets increase each year. If this plan isn't included in Build Back Better, billionaires will keep getting richer while paying little, if any, income taxes. And the tax code will stay rigged against workers. This is what the American public wants, by the way. Support for President Biden's Build Back Better plan goes up by 26 points in key swing house districts when it's paid for by the billionaire's income tax. Just saying. That sound good to you too? Call Congress now and tell them to support the billionaire's income tax. Between raising the rate on people who pay nothing and finding a way to actually make them pay something, finding a way to make them pay is the preferable of those two choices. I mean, it this this also feels like and oh let's talk about the corporate one real quick. So right now and the if you pay personal income taxes and you're like a pretty rich person and you've used a ton of deductions to get yourself down to like you're paying a 5% tax rate on your on your income there's a thing called the alternative minimum tax 
that says, okay, you know, congratulations to you. You know, you you rigged the game so, so impressively, you got down to this tiny number. So no, you actually owe this alternative minimum minimum tax. I forget what it's set at, but let's say it's set at twenty percent, uh, and so or fifteen percent, whatever it is. So then that means you you can only game it so much that there's a there's a floor you can't get below. And what Warren and King and Widener are proposing is. And everybody's on board for it. Cinema and Mansion on board for it. Are do a corporate alternative minimum tax, which says, okay, Amazon, you told your shareholders that you made forty-eight billion dollars last year, whatever they made. But then you told the IRS you made zero. Well, guess what? IRS is going to go with the forty-eight billion dollar number, and we can look at your books and see that the forty-eight billion was accurate because you can't lie to the SEC. Can't lie to your investors because then vice presidents start going to jail like that. That they take seriously, and so now you owe a minimum of fifteen percent on this forty-eight billion. Now this will raise. It's only on corporations over a billion because that's apparently what they needed to do to get all fifty senators on board. Uh, but so if, if a corporation makes more than a billion dollars a year uh, in in profits, they can't. They can't game it. Now they can still take a research and development credit, which I think is fair because that's just an expense. Mm-hmm. Um, and they can and they can also take credits for uh, clean energy investments. So what would be hilarious is if you started to see corporations try to start gaming the tax code by investing a ton of money in clean energy. Like, okay, if you want to? <laughs> yeah, that, that's how you want to own the libs. Yeah. Then, we'll then go for it. That. So they're those always two- gonna find a way though. Right, you but if, if the way they have, so what, what's, what's clever about it is that you know they're always gonna find a way to game it. So nudge them in this direction. Like if you wanna game uh, the, the tax code, game it by over investing in clean energy. Like How trans- about that? transform your company into carbon neutral. Uh, so like you could do that with, with kids, they're like, you know where you're trying, like, all right. If you want to get out of your homework, fine, you can do that. But uh, but you have to be, you have to mow the lawn to get out of it. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. So you you gamed the system. You didn't do your homework, but you mowed the lawn. So we might get something uh, good. We'll at see. It. I'm just we'll see. no. But I also feel, and I want to get your take on this. I like. I feel right now. I feel the same way I felt in this brief period in 2009, when Democrats had struck a deal to lower the Medicare age. Down to 55 in exchange yes. for the public option, and everybody was high as a kite. They're like, because if they'd have done that, then we'd have it. We'd have it all of it by now. Because and insurance companies knew that. Like once you start lowering it, that's right. You got to keep going. Yeah, because then the 54 year olds were like, wait a minute. What, what about, about us? Yeah, and the 45 year olds like, what about us? And what so about pre- us? Yeah. the pressure grows, and that's why they fight that just as hard as they fight Medicare for all. Um, that deal lasted for like four hours. Before it got blown up, uh, so I want I I don't know if we're in that period where we're like this is amazing that this could possibly happen, but it's going to blow up, or uh, if it actually goes into law because they do need to pass something. Thing I mean, it has to be of great substance to be able to change the material conditions mm-hmm. for the people who need it the most in this country. Yeah, right. There is something about elected officials who go in to serve, air quotes, because some of them are only serving certain interests, mm-hmm. but then they want to starve government from the ability to provide those services. We got to have money for the mission. And so it just boggles my mind why people like Senator Romney, you know, he's talking that talk about you know, you you tax the billionaires, they're gonna invest in art and 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 Farms, I think he said something like that. I mean, what is the, you know, going back to the moveon.org kind of primer, the video, making sure that folks understand that income is taxed in this nation, but not wealth. And so to have that kind of turnaround to say that we will tax wealth to a certain extent so that then people cannot weasel their way out of it as much is yeah. it would be a great phenomenon in the United States of America. Because let us not forget the tax code, all of that stuff, all of the rules to the game, if you will, have been written 
by the people who benefit the most by those rules. And yeah. I think, Ryan, sometimes the American people forget that because we have this, I could be one of them too, kind of mentality. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, for sure. And it almost feels like, well, they successfully gamed the system, so let them let them rob the store. Uh, and the way that uh, so Ron Wyden at at this event today uh, said you can't, said yes okay I get the whole thing about the income versus wealth he's like but you can't gen you can't you don't you can't get wealth without income like you had to make, you had to get income at some point and what these billionaires have figured out how to do is to game the system so they skip the whole process of income. And so they go from zero to billionaire just ma magically. I mean, according to the IRS, according to their statements to the IRS, just magically. Like Elon Musk. Like, oh my God. Yes. he was broke. He started companies. His companies made billions. He's worth like $200 billion. According to the IRS, he's worth as much as you and I are. And so, how do you make that wealth without income? Like, as he points out, it's metaphysically like impossible. Like you had, like there had to be a point at which you had income that translated into wealth, and the point was when you took that those stocks, that Tesla stock, SpaceX stock, his, you know, you know his solar panel stock, Sol what, Solar City. Like he took those certificates down to the bank and he ch and he cashed them in for cash, and he used that cash to live a billionaire lifestyle. That's income. It, yeah. it, it's all, and it's the, and it's also wealth, and so. It the because it's so difficult to figure out a way to tax wealth other than we've figured out how to tax property in the form of a house because you can't move a house it's like right there <laughs> like we know like we know where it is um, that that's how they take it to income they say look if you made more than a hundred million dollars and it's and it's such rich people you have to in order to apply in order for this to apply to you you have to have made more than a hundred million dollars. In for three straight years, or you have to have a billion dollars in assets like that. Otherwise, this law doesn't have anything to do with you. Yeah, and how about that? Yeah. Please say that one more time. I need people <laughs> to understand this. And I just, I don't get the psychology sometimes, but they got it down. I mean, we have, not we, but the system has programmed folks to fight against their own self interest on a wing and a prayer that one day before yeah. they die. For three years, they're gonna, they're gonna make status. they're gonna make a hundred million dollars a year. hundred million dollars and not have to work. You know, the, the patriotic millionaires, you know, I gotta shout them out. Mm -hmm. I mean, they definitely they have a, a a new a new book out that really lays out, for example, you know, it has this uh this this continuum and I think they put Bezos on one side and, and you know the poorest person on the other. And their point is that you are closer to the poorest person. Mm -hmm. No matter where you are, for the most part, than yeah. you are to ever be in Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. So yeah. understand that, people. So we all, I mean, most of us, the overwhelming majority of us should certainly be supporting not only a billionaire wealth tax, but changing the tax code altogether so that it decreases the likelihood that people like Bezos and Musk and others can actually scam the system. Mm -hmm. And also, even at even it's still pennies. I, I forget what the exact number is. I, I can see if I can find it. I think it's like three yeah. percent, like for the billionaire tax. It's not like it's not it's like nothing. you're you're not like you're driving them into uh, poverty. Like three well, percent, they, they won't yeah. notice that. That's right. Right, right. We're they not Putin. Like it. Putin. And like uh, and she in China, like they figure out how to take their oligarchs. They just throw them right in prison. Like if when they when they cross, um, we're talking about a three percent tax it's on nothing. on their and, you billion. Know, it doesn't take income. a whole lot of courage, to, in my mind. I mean, just based on our conversation, other what other experts. I mean, Dr. Robert Reich is. You know, he puts it out every single day and, and he does it in such a way that anybody can understand the complexities of this. But to me, 
It doesn't take a whole lot of courage here, Mm -hmm. but for the fact that we have a political system where it is legal, totally legal and acceptable to bribe politicians. And the vast majority of them do the bidding of the people who have the most instead of standing Mm -hmm. up for the people who have the least. So, oh my God, we're gonna have to do this again. We stayed on this billionaire tax and can we just a little bit, can you can you give us mm-hmm. an update on what is happening with the reconciliation? Yeah, on the social spending side. Yeah, and so the social spend. Yes, it sounds it sounds like and the infrastructure. It yeah. sounds like it sounds like child care. Child care is still in there. That would be the piece that says you don't have to spend more than seven percent of your income on on child care. The impl- implementing that is going to be, and it also raises wages for child care workers over time. Um, and so. Implementing that is going to be key. If they screw up the implementation, they're going to they're going to Which own. Which could happen. It's could easily the happen. Bureaucracy is big and, and slow. And like you were talking about, the government has been starved, and as a result, its ability to actually just govern is, is severely diminished. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be a big if. But you know, if they can pull up, pull this off, and you can get people's childcare costs down to seven percent of their income, you know, for a lot of people, that I mean, it's you know extremely you know it'll be affordable for everybody at that yeah at that rate um and the child tax credit is still in we'll see what mansion does to it in terms of you know means testing and and trimming it down uh you know you you still have so you still have some climate but not what not what was in there before there that that part still seems to be work if from everything i was hearing up until tonight like they're still they're still working through that because you have a guy who is a coal producer from West Virginia? People say, "Oh, he's dictating the terms." Yeah. Oh, he's he's from a coal state. Yeah, yeah. He is from a coal state. He's also a coal producer. Right. Like makes himself, his wealth. makes his wealth. His family. His family forever and money. ever and ever. Yeah, oh so my God, we'll Ryan! See. We have got to do this again. You Anytime. are a masterful at breaking this down for all of us too, just like Dr. Robert Rice. You and Dr. <laughs> Robert Rice, y'all do the daggone thing. Thank you all so very much for joining Ryan and myself on the conversation. Please make sure you stay tuned to TYT on all of our platforms to get more information just like this. Get involved, do your part, do the daggone thing, keep the faith and keep the fight. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.